Are you a vampire and you just don't know it yet? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Last week on our Ridiculous Dating Websites game, we learned about Vampersonals, an actual website where vampires can date one another. And yes, it was a real website. You got that one right. And it's a real website because there are people, thousands of people around the world who consider themselves to actually be vampires. So yeah. I've sent you on a trail with yes. asking you that question. A of, research a rabbit trail. You do satellite, huh? Satellite? I do antennas. My antennas communicate with your satellite. Every time? I've always I've never done known that. You do this satellite? Yeah, every time. Well, good for you. So anyway, during this research, what I've learned is that we're not talking about you know the vampires of folklore who live forever, who don't like garlic, who can't go out in the sun. Uh, but these wooden are, stake into the heart kills well, them. Well, a wooden stake into the heart will kill you as well, well and me touche. and most people. Speak for yourself. Um, but we are talking about people who consider themselves vampires, and the thing that I have learned during this research- But like, none of that's true of them. Is that you might, you, sir, and possibly me, may actually be vampires, and you may be a vampire if you're watching, and we're gonna get into how you can figure that out. So there are some stakes in this episode. <laughs> Not wooden, where they, you may find yourself being a vampire. Now, end. there's a couple of, there's actually three different types of vampires. Uh, first. And all these people are are accepted within the vampire community. I don't know how I feel about all of these types of vampires, considering the first type is the lifestyle vampire. This is just people who like to dress up like vampires. This so, is just people who go to Hot Topic and get black clothing. Halloween year round type scenario? They shouldn't be included vampire people. I'm just saying you shouldn't include people who just play dress up, but they are included. The second one, are called psychic vampires, and these are not Ooh. people who tell the future of other vampires. These are people who feed off of other people, but they feed off of their energy. Okay, what are the mechanics of, of uh, that process? You might suck on somebody's ear. I don't know, I, I, it has to do with their aura, Link. You have an aura today, it's very blue. <laughs> I like how you're looking up, you, <laughs> do you see something because? No, I don't. Okay, good. But these people see our sense and aura and energy in and around a person and apparently they can feed off of it. That's called an extrovert. Uh, yep. I think it's called a vampire, an extroverted vampire. And extra if, diverted. if they feed too much on someone, they can feel lethargic according to them. But listen, I also don't think they should be vampires because I think the real vampires are the people who suck blood. And those are called, called sanguinarian vampires. These are people who actually feed off of human blood mm -hmm. and feel like they have to have the blood in order to survive. I, th I feel like there should be laws against this and they probably are. Now, now, it isn't like I walk up to you and I like bite into your neck without you knowing and then suck your blood. We're talking people who have worked out agreements with other donors. Sometimes they're in a relationship with somebody, like two vampires together in a relationship and they suck each other's blood. And then sometimes they that's, get that's blood fair. from donors like uh, off a of Craigslist. I'm not making this up. Craigslist was listed as a potential place to find your blood donors. And of course they go through all the testing to make sure they're not gonna get weird diseases. Craig but, does that? Uh, Craig is into that. Craig is really in the blood. I mean the testing. And uh, but the thing is, is they don't bite the neck. They actually use like a sanitary scalpel, and they'll uh, like cut you on the arm or on the back, and then suck on the suck on the cut. I'm not gonna actually do it. Oh, don't get wow. nervous. Uh, but here's the thing. It sounds weird. It sounds crazy. But uh, you actually may be one because it there's a lot of characteristics that you can have according to the vampire experts that might lead you. Uh, that might help you realize that you are actually a vampire. And I've gone to an incredible source link. I didn't even do any necking in high school. Well, hold remember on. that? If you do that hard enough, some blood might come to the surface. It you makes call, a you hickey. Talking about hickeys? Hickeys. Necking. I never understood hickeys. hickeys. All right, so you're going to conduct a test to prove that I am well, a vampire. The first, the first question I have for you uh, is: Have you gone through puberty? <laughs> Let me think about that. Uh, yes, I think so. Well, that's a sign that you might be a vampire. Because every vampire during the time of puberty experiences an awakening where they start to feel like they might be a vampire. No, well, okay, that means I'm not a vampire. So they they realize, hey, I'm a vampire. They start. Yeah, around puberty. <laughs> that didn't happen if, to me. I'm just, hey, I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to line all this up. Have you been through puberty? Yes. Yes. You're still a candidate. Secondly, do you enjoy pomegranate juice? Yes. Dark chocolate. Uh, yeah, I mean it's bitter compared to regular chocolate, but yeah. Marmite. 
Absolutely not. Okay. Have you ever tasted Marmite? Yes, it was mailed to but us. You like the first two? Vegemite, Marmite, bad stuff. Those are acceptable substitutes for blood when you're in, undergoing blood rage and you can't get actual human or animal blood. Really? That's what the vampire said. Hey, I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot the messenger with a silver bullet. <laughs> um, <laughs> now I, I can sense that you're still skeptical about I, this. A little bit, yeah. So I have the ultimate source uh, for all things vampire. That is vampirewebsite.net. Uh, I went there. And, like website uh, is spelled out. And if you go to vampirewebsite.net, yes, it is spelled out, dash, I mean, slash, how know if a vampire.html, that's where you can take a 38 question quiz to find out if you're a vampire. Link, I've selected Let's do it. just a few questions for you. Uh, do you have unusually pale skin? It depends on the time of year. Not currently. I don't, I don't think so. No. I think you're normal. No, normally no. As a kid, were you the strongest, smartest, or quickest kid in the class? And at around 16 years of age, maybe all three. Keep in mind, I knew you as a child and at the age of 16. Well, then you know the answer to this. No, 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 <laughs> and a big Definitely sad no. No. <laughs> okay. I was working nothing in, as, at okay, age 16. Okay, this is a bad sign. Maybe you're not a vampire. Do appliances hate you? This is off of the website. That is a good question. I've been burnt by a toaster. I think they mean do appliances misbehave around you? The oven screws up. I'm racking my brain, but no. Okay. How often do you look at the person that almost bumped or bumped into you and think, you idiot, or people are so stupid because they didn't know you were only a couple feet away from them because you always know when someone is that close to you, which when you think about it, you only know because you can sense when someone is that close to you. That is an actual question on the website. Um, do you understand what I'm saying? Because I get this one and I definitely feel this way about it. No, that. what do you mean? Sometimes somebody's like getting close to me, I'm like, you idiot. Really? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> is it like you're invisible or something? It means you have a sixth sense, like you know when somebody's sneaking up on you. No. Do you tend to get a high from human blood? When drinking someone's blood, do you tend to find yourself being able to do something that they could do that you couldn't do about two weeks after drinking it? Well, the only person's blood that I've drunk is my own. Oh, like, weird. if I if I cut my finger, what do you do instinctively? You put it in your mouth, which I don't you know. Do does that. that make me a vampire? Possibly. Could you do things two weeks later that you could do two weeks before because you're that person? I'm really good at doing things that I could do two weeks later. Like I can replicate things later. You might be a vampire. Whether I'm drinking my own blood in the middle, I don't think that's bringing me closer to vampiredom. I think it's pretty clear. I know there's more questions on the website, but even with these, I am clearly not a vampire, but maybe you are a vampire if you're answering that uh, opposite of me. Um, but here's what I think is the thing I'm more excited about. It's not about finding out if you are a vampire, it's just looking like a vampire. And I present to you Father Sebastian, Rhett. I found this guy, he is the founder and head of Sabretooth Clan of Vampires. He's also a vampire dentist AKA a fangsmith. He is a master fangsmith. He used to be a dental assistant. He actually makes Which fangs in your mouth. Which now makes fangs. If you go to his website, uh, you can peruse the vampire teeth that he can make. Here's And this is all under $300. Well, $400 if you get the saber wolf. Hold on, these are permanent? These are not permanent. They are dental acrylic and just like the stuff that the dentures are made out of and you put them in your mouth whenever you want to get your vampire on and then you take them out when you sleep or when you eat. You can drink with them but you can't eat with them because you might swallow them and that's not a good So they're idea. not in very well. Well, even if they're in well, it's, Do you, have you to don't wanna knock them out with like a carrot or something. Denture cream stuff? Um, I've always no, they, to do that. they just hug the teeth and it, it might make you talk with a lisp. I learned all this by just reading his frequently asked questions on his site. Um, I was curious about biting. He said the thing about the lisp? Yeah. He said, can you but talk? that's kind of cool, right? Can you talk, yeah. All vampires have, have lisps. A little bit of a lisp. If, yeah. they're, if they're cool. Just a little bit. It's yeah. like getting braces. You have to figure out how to talk yeah, yeah, yeah. with them in. Uh, but then he said, what about biting on the website? And he says, human saliva is much dirtier than dog saliva. If you break the skin, bring your victim to the hospital immediately to get a tetanus shot. I mean, that's a great first date when at the end of it, you bite your date and you gotta take her to get a tetanus shot. I, I like the way he said that happened to me once. Bring your victim. Bring to your the, victim, to the, AKA to the your hospital. date, to the hospital. You can get classics, that's just the top. You can get Lilith, which is uh, the two lateral teeth. Not, see, mine are kind of horny anyway. That's the thing I haven't pointed out here, no pun intended, that 
that's the only vampire thing about me. Yeah, you do have some pretty These could get bigger. Canines. These could get bigger and I could add the bottom ones for $260 and that's called the beast. I'm not interested. Listen, why be a vampire when you can just look like one? I mean, these people look cool, man. <laughs> you're just like, you go through a drive-through and you're like, just smile well, at What him. a great endorsement. These people look cool, man. <laughs> Father Sebastian, you can even quote me on your website. Like after we do this thing, just put a little quote under me. Link me up, says, these people, people look, look cool. cool, man. <laughs> I'm one of you. I'm interested in the people who drink blood. If you wanna hang out, we can talk about your techniques. Uh, yeah. I'm not interested in those. Yeah, and then go to get a tetanus shot. Meanwhile, I'll be like, hey, Look at me, man. Are you on the cool side or the actual <laughs> vampire side? Let us know in the comments. Also, thanks for liking and subscribing. You know what time it is. My name is Jeff. And my name is Elizabeth. And, and we're, we're from, from Rochester, New York. York. And it's, it's time, time to spin the wheel of mythicality. We're on Snapchat. It's real, Rhett Link. That's Rhett and Link. We're real. We're on Snapchat. It gets weird over there sometimes. Yeah, but we ain't gonna apologize for it. Click through to Good Mythical More. We're gonna go through some other official questions to determine if you are a real vampire from the website. We're selling three-legged puppies. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our show. Uh, we got a good lineup of stuff we're selling today. Real, real special. First uh, stuff is... Um, Puppies. Well, and puppies that have been compromised a little bit, uh, but they still move real good and they got real good balance. Yep, like 25 tri tripods. 25% off. <laughs> <laughs> and if you call right now, uh, we'll throw in a, a pile of puppy legs. Yeah, what? For free. What does a vampire dream of all the time? Uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Something warm, hot, and juicy. 